In our last video, we talked about uh, where you are as a caregiver, the emotions, the, the, the financial burdens, the all of those that you go through that have produced certain emotions and feelings that you have now. Now, um, we want to dig deeper into this. Yes, caregiving sometimes can be a bit of um, a load, if we may say, but it is also one of the most favorite uh, activities you can do as a human being to those who are around you. Now, let's talk about you as a human being. Whatever age you are, from what you can see, you have a life cycle, just like every product has a life cycle. You have a date to be born, and unfortunately, or fortunately, a date to die. So now we show you uh, what your financial print is as you live your life. What are the expected markers that you're supposed to meet as you live your life, as you move forward? So I'd like to pick an example here of uh, Avensis and Jamie. We'll give them those names. Those are two characters. Um, so at birth, Avensis and Jamie were born and they moved forward. Between birth and their 20s, they didn't have much, um, they, they, their footprint, financial footprint is minimal because they have their parents taking care of them. And as they move along into their 20s and 30s, they now find each other. And you can see the image of how close they are. That is a time I think you also believe you remember how good love can be. And in between the 30s and 40s is when their family starts picking up. Now certain needs start coming in at that point. There is a need for shelter, there is a need for, of course, food, there's education. As they were being taken care of in their 20s, now they must also take care of those who are with them. And as they proceed on to their 50s, um, this is the time the children have matured and gone off to school, and they now need to be, uh, they are now together, they are left alone, the two of them. Their financial footprint then now is more on savings and more of thinking about the future. Of course, in their 40s, we assume, or their 30s, they started planning, even as early as their 20s, for their retirement, so they're putting money aside, right? And when you move on to your 60s, you find the image there even shows of only Jamie playing golf. It doesn't mean he's not with offenses. It's just that, you know, uh, at that time, um, what, Jamie's, what uh, uh, Jamie's doing is more reflective outdoors than offenses. I like to pose this question here. What happens when, at 50, Jamie is sick and Avensis must take care of Jamie, who has uh, maybe dementia, something that was not expected. Remember, the life cycle is something that we all expect to make it from the cradle to the grave in one piece, right? But unfortunately, there are things that happen that deter our plans. Jamie and Avensis had goals they had, they, had, they had planned their certain milestones as they were moving on. Jamie and Avensis had needs that they had set forth. They said that these are the things that we're going to do. And how to achieve that, we put our savings and our investments together to meet these needs. Jamie and Avensis also had wants. Whatever was left after their savings and their investments was what they said, now we will travel the world in our 60s and 70s. Then Jamie gets sick. The kind of work that Avensis must do for Jamie might, is, is, is also includes the children that were there. What happens when the children are too busy? What happens when, there are, when she feels isolated? When she feels embarrassed because of uh, Jamie's uh, illness? When she doesn't have friends that are there to assist? What happens when where you should be is not where you are? Your financial footprint on your needs and your wants, they deteriorate and change and you start feeling isolated. You pull away from those who are at the place where you thought you should be because of someone you are taking care of, because of the financial burden that you have on yourself. So these financial, the financial burden produces an emotional set of um, uh, 
bur a burden that comes upon you and takes you down a certain road. Do not worry, do not lack hope, do not lack. We at Suruvi are, we do this for you. We come to you to analyze exactly where you are, not only financially. We have other members who talk to you about your mental, your physical, so that we can, we can work with you, dear caregiver, who gives care. You already are giving love to someone else, so we give love to you. To let you know that even though that life cycle, that plan did not work out as you had expected, it doesn't mean that life is not happening. Life is still happening for you. So join us in our next video as we move from the point of, okay, I have not attained what I wanted to attain. What do I do? What are my next moves or next steps from there? You will find that we speak real talk here. We talk about uh, workload and, 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 and processes because this is what you are going through. This is what we went through when we care gave. And this is what we expect that by the time our time comes to be to look for a caregiver, then we shall have one that is educated, one that is at peace with themselves because they have patched their life cycle in peace and in happiness and have taken what they can and moved to the right financial step. So upon your goals, upon your needs and your wants, we will redefine these in a financial way. We will talk about how to use certain equations, certain formulas in your daily life as you go shopping in the supermarket, as you buy that child the new skateboard, as you go and buy medicine for Jamie. We shall talk to you about the financial footprint you should set. Thank you and see you in the next video.